What is up, guys? It is the Blue Bloods here, back with another Week 3 preview. And, man, we got one of, in my opinion, one of the most underrated matchups of the weekend. We have number 19, Arizona State, traveling to number 23, BYU. If you're on the East Coast, you're going to want to get you an energy drink. You're going to have to want to stay up late for this one. It does not kick off. Till 10 15 Eastern Time, that's 9 15 Central Time on ESPN. It's going to be a late night, but in my opinion, this matchup between the Sun Devils and the Cougars could be one of the best matchups of the entire weekend. Now, in terms of storylines, though, the Sun Devils had a tumultuous all season to say the least. All these accusations were flying around about Herm Edwards and his staff, about whether they were bringing recruits illegally during COVID. A lot of people thought the staff could be gone. There could be some way punishment. Not much has come out about that since the season started, but the Sun Devils found a way to start 2-0. But this is going to be their toughest test as they travel to Provo and um, in Utah and try to pull off a huge road win. And a lot of people are wondering how Herm Edwards' team is going to respond to such a test, their first true road test of the season. And on the other side, BYU also comes into this game 2-0, and they're looking for their third straight Pac-12 win to start the season. They're not in the Pac-12, but they've beaten Arizona. They beat Utah last week for the first time in, I believe, over a decade and now they're looking for their second straight top 25 win over a Pac-12 team, looking to follow up their dominant 2020 season. And a lot of people were predicting their downfall. They have responded. They have not missed a beat. And as we get into the game, as I'm recording right now, Arizona State is a four-point favorite over BYU. And for me, it's easy. The key for the Sun Devils is just continuing – to establish the rushing attack and control the time of possession of this game. That's been their strength for the first two wins of the season, and there is no reason to change that now as you get into the bulk of your schedule. They, the Sun Devils have rushed for over 500 yards, nine touchdowns, and as an entire team have been averaging about six yards per touch on the ground, it's elite production. The offensive line has been mauling people, and I understand they haven't played the type of defense they're going to see this weekend, but it's still impressive that they've been able to put up those type of numbers. Now, Rashad White and Daniel Ngata are going to be the two uh, top running backs for this offense, and both have shown the ability to be a feature back for the Sun Devils, and they are going to have to have a dynamic performance this upcoming weekend. Now, White has about 150 yards rushing, averaged over five yards per carry, and has found the end zone four times already this season, while Ngata has rushed for over 100 yards, averaging almost six yards per carry, and has found the end zone twice. They have shown that they can score. They can sh they, they've can they shown they can be explosive, consistent, and be the workhorse. So if those two guys can combine to replicate that performance this weekend, Arizona State's going to be tough to beat. And let's not forget, Jaden Daniels has flashed his athleticism all season thus far and is actually the current rushing yards leader for the Sun Devils to this point in the season, over 165 yards rushing, and he's averaging almost nine yards per carry. It is an elite mark, and every time Daniels gets out of the pocket, he makes something special happen with his legs, and that has to continue. If he continues to be dynamic in a playmaker outside the pocket – it's going to be a problem. I do want to see his passing game improve because, yes, he's continued to be accurate. He's completing about 73% of his passes, but he hasn't really pushed the ball down the field. Only a, only 300 total yards passing, two touchdowns, and a pick. He's got to avoid turnovers, and he has to find a way to take advantage of the stack box that BYU is going to throw at them in time to stop the run. If, he, if, if Daniels cannot burn BYU over the top, Arizona State is going to have a very tough time trying to find a way to win this game. Now, the key for the Cougars is similar. 
And it is to establish the rushing game, but it's also to allow Jaron Hall to take advantage of favorable matchups down the stretch, set up the play action game, which was the at which 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 was the perfect recipe against Utah last week in a huge ranked win for BYU. Now, Tyler Tyler Algar is one of the best running backs in the country that people are not talking about. This guy has shown he can be explosive, consistent, and that he can be an every down type of back and that he can take that beating in the power five. Now, he has 200 yards rushing this year with only a touchdown. But last year, when he was a feature back as well, had over 1,100 yards rushing, 13 touchdowns, and was averaging over seven and a half yards per carry. That's elite production, and Algar has always seemed to be the key for that BYU offense when it explodes. Even though Zach Wilson was throwing it down the field, Algar was able to give him favorable matchups in the play action and able to you know get some defenders in the box to allow those wide receivers to have one-on-one matchups on the outside. He's the key this week. It allows them to, one, control the game and impose their will and make this game a BYU type of game where they can impose themselves on Arizona State. And similar to what I just talked about with Arizona State, Jaron Hall has the ability to make some plays with his legs as well. He has to be ready for this moment. He has to show up, replicate the success of his first two starts this year. He has 130 yards rushing, and he's averaging almost 10 yards per carry. That is elite, and he's done an excellent job replacing Zach Wilson, has yet to have an interception, thrown for over 400 yards, five touchdowns, and is completing over 62% of his passes. If he can continue to be efficient, accurate, limit limit turnovers, and make crucial plays with his legs when needed, you know, when the pocket breaks down, when there's an opportunity to scramble for a first down, he makes those plays. BYU is going to be a tough team to beat this weekend, especially with the game being at that home stadium, in which we saw could be a game changer as they've upset some huge teams in that stadium. Now, for the matchup to watch, it's for me, it has to be the Arizona State offensive line against an extremely talented and underrated BYU front seven, which should be probably the biggest test for the Sun Devils up to this point and one of the biggest tests of the season, in my opinion. Now, the Sun Devils O-line has only given up three sacks thus far and only six total pressures in their two games. If that can continue and they can find a way to do that against this talented BYU front, the Sun Devils are more than likely going to have a great chance to win this game. Now, I believe it's Kellen Deesh has been one of the highest-graded offensive tackles in the country thus far, and he is going to have to anchor this offensive line and bring others with him in Provo this weekend. Now, for the BYU defense, they've been electric in terms of rushing the passer in these pass-rushing situations. They've really put their opponents in bad situations in which they can pin their ears back and come after the quarterback with some force. And BYU has seven sacks, guys, and 26 total hurries just in the first two games of this season thus far, and they've shown that they can be extremely creative in their blitz packages, and and that's really what I want to see this weekend. I want them to show multiple fronts. I want them to disguise the blitz, run stunts, and confuse this Arizona State offensive line and force them into mistakes. Now, the key to this is the edge defenders have to stay disciplined. If you get too far up the field, Jaden Daniels is going to make you pay, and you cannot let him get out of the pocket and beat you with his legs. If he starts establishing himself with his legs and then the passing game comes later, Arizona State could run away with this one. So be disciplined, but be creative and be efficient rushing the passer. Now, Tyler Beatty and Uriah, I believe it's Leah too are going to have to be two players on this D-line to watch. They are the both the edge rushers, and they're going to have to make their impact. They both have a sack this year. They both can consistently get to the quarterback. If they can continue making plays like I know they can, then BYU is going to be very tough to beat. And whoever wins the line of scrimmage in this game, in my opinion, and is able to impose their will, pace of play, all that kind of stuff is going to have a significant advantage, in my opinion, on who wins this game. Now, you know, for my official prediction, 
I really think this game's going to be close. I think these teams are evenly matched. I think their strengths are very similar. Their weaknesses are very similar. It's just right now I have a little I have a little bit more faith in the run game of BYU, and I have a, and, and I have more faith in the offense of BYU to replicate what they've done at home. Jaron Hall at home is going to be able to make some plays. You know, I think Jaden Daniels through the air is kind of limited at this point. The wide receiving core for me has not been there. And so in my opinion, due to the home field advantage, due to Hall, due to Algar, I have BYU taking a close one by three points. I think it's going to be like a one to three, maybe the four point game. But for me, I have BYU 30. Arizona State 27 this week in Provo, Utah. And what a what an atmosphere. That place is going to be electric. And if you are up at 915 Central Time, turn on ESPN and watch these two great teams go to work and put on a show um, for the whole country. Man, I am so pumped for this game. It's going to be one of the most competitive games of the weekend. And it's going to go a long way in one determining what Arizona State is going to be in the Pac-12. And it also could be a huge test to see can BYU replicate what the, all the success they had last year, even after they lost Zach Wilson and multiple other pieces to the NFL draft. So make sure to tune into that. Make sure to hit that subscribe button right now. Like this video and share it with, with all your football friends, whoever you root for this weekend. It's going to be a great game. Instant reaction drops at 11 a.m. Central Time on Sunday for week three. And make sure to check out all our other week three previews right now. But, guys, for the Blue Bloods, we'll be back very, very soon later this afternoon with some more previews. But for right now, we are out.